Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to play Wii games on your computer. Basically, you'll be using the Dolphin emulator. This is the best Wii emulator around and I would definitely wouldn't recommend any of the other ones. So, you download the late, latest version in the download section like this. You choose your operating system, whatever system you want by clicking on here and then you choose if you've got a Mac you download the Mac version Linux Linux version and Windows 32 bit and Windows 64 bit whichever one you have but now I'm going to show you how to use this you're going to need the latest versions of DirectX and Microsoft Visual C installed on your computer once you've got those and all your graphics card drivers are updated what you're going to do is you're going to open up the executable file like I just did and you're going to go to configure there are basically I wouldn't recommend going, playing Dolphin on your computer without a dual core so unless it's about 3 gigahertz which not a lot of computers are so basically just enable dual core if you have dual core and if you only have one core then disable it that's about the only thing I change here apart from the theme if you want to change that but I don't really mess with it GameCube this is just how you select your language and all that if you speak a different language apart from English whatever and then basically plugins if you've got quite a good graphics card select OpenGL if you don't then select direct x39 what I'd, what I'd recommend doing is selecting OpenGL and then if it says come comes up with an error update your graphics card driver if that doesn't work that means it doesn't support OpenGL and you'll just have to use direct x9 like I do now the pad plugin they've made this a lot simpler in the new version what you do is if you want to play with a different controller you just connect the controller and it would say and the controller would appear here and up here and you just select the buttons from there and then just click OK it's very simple and then if you want to play with a Wii, Wii remote that's slightly different what you do is you click on real Wii remote and Wii remote connected and then and then what you, what you do is click OK what you do to connect a Wii remote is you're going to need a wireless Bluetooth dongle or Bluetooth already installed in your laptop or computer so basically mine's here you just search for the Bluetooth device and while it's searching press the one and two buttons on your Wii remote down at the same time and don't let go until they show up and the process is complete and your Wii remote will be connected as soon as you start up Dolphin the lights will stop flashing and there'll be one like you like um, just like you playing on your Wii so you're just going to hit close and that's it you can start playing if you want to know where to get the ISOs from, um, you could. What I do is I all of my ISOs are from using Raw Dump, which is basically a software which rips Wii discs into ISOs. But if you if you really want to download them, I'll post some links in the description. So here I'm just going to show you. Open this back up again, and then let's start with Super Smash Brothers Dolphin should now work on your computer no matter how many cores you have you will utilize two cores as you can see the speeds very good everything's working correctly uh, it's probably the lag if you're seeing any distortions it's probably the lag on my screen recorder so don't worry about that and you can just start playing if you'd like to change any any of the um, s uh, controller settings if you're playing with the keyboard then just go on to gpad plugin and then just select them from there thanks guys if you if I get enough responses on this video I may be doing s some LPs on certain games and probably some more video some more videos so please subscribe rate and comment thanks guys